Man, I think uh, one of the biggest apprehensions that um, smaller shops, manual shops will feel in uh, you know, making the leap to automatic is just the sheer ability that you've got the cost overhead. You know, a lot of times um, manual shops are so focused on day-to-day -day operations, making sure that they're able to pay any employees that they have, pay themselves if they're an owner operator, uh, keep the lights on and, you know, live to fight another day. We, we know the statistics that um, brand new businesses are, you know, more likely to fail than succeed. So uh, it's an uphill battle and a lot of, I think, screen print shops view um, that transition of being able to go from their manual that they've you know, poured blood, sweat, and tears into printing for, you know, maybe as, as little as a few months or, or maybe as much as, um, you know, five to 10 years. Um, but when they're ready to make that leap to go to an auto, it's a big, uh, it's a big jump. And it is, you know, in some instances, uh, maybe the most expensive purchase that um, they've ever made. So, um, you know, being able to plan it out, not just from a, uh, space uh, physical standpoint but more from a, uh, a financial standpoint uh, to be able to get ready to absorb that type of uh, an investment uh, whether it's uh, a cash investment if you know uh, you have money saved up or um, if you're financing uh, to just be able to be prepared for that type of uh, uh, overhead adjustment. Yeah, automation uh, can completely be the right answer um, for, uh, you know, obviously an experienced business, but um, also a brand new um, business, brand new to screen printing. Might be an existing company that uh, has been doing outsourcing, or maybe it's just um, a company who uh, works with a client on a certain other medium, whether it's embroidery or signage or uh, web or marketing and now they want to fulfill screen print orders for them um, so you know looking into where do you need to be at your starting point um, I think is uh, really kind of the, the calculus that you have to make if you guys you know if, if shops out there need to be able to print um, you know thousands of shirts potentially in a day uh, it's not something that you really want to consider a uh, manual press for regardless of your uh, comfort level in screen printing or your um, kind of budget, right? Because uh, at the end of the day, you need to do what uh, you need to do. And so if the task at hand is um, uh, necessitating um, the type of production levels that can only be attained with an automatic or only easily attained with an automatic, then a lot of times it becomes uh, a no-brainer. The number we always, uh, you know, kind of throw out there for uh, manual shops is uh, 2,000 to 3,000 uh, shirts um, per month. You know, if you're printing somewhere in that range or definitely more than that, uh, if you look at the numbers, it will likely make more sense to, to do that on an automatic press. Uh, from a standpoint of a shop outsourcing or, or not doing anything, um, you know, you would look at, uh, you know, $10,000 $10, range if this is something that is a typical investment for you in outsourced material per month, um, then a lot of times the ROI on that will make sense to uh, make the investment to bring it in-house and, and be producing it on your own. Yeah, so this is something that, you know, I had uh, kind of dealt with firsthand um, uh, being in a manual print environment uh, when I was running my company. And you never want to like say no or turn down jobs. That's like the last thing you want to do when you're uh, trying to uh, grow a business. So I think it's important for uh, shops who are limited in physical space, who are in smaller uh, buildings that maybe they can't just put an auto in the space um, to start planning for kind of how they get to that next step. And that might mean for right now, you're just making friends and partnerships and you're networking with other shops who you would be able to either you know, uh, use their automatic on a weekend or just work out a good structure with them where you're sending larger jobs that you're not able to do on the manual 
to have them printed uh, on someone's automatic. Um, that's kind of how I think uh, you know you should start, um, so that at least you can be uh, maintaining that client and making a small percentage on the order, so that when the time comes that you're ready and you've you know been able to locate a larger space, um, now all of a sudden you have this automatic, you have different capabilities, and you can be you know making a, a higher margin and also enjoying the the longer relationship with that customer. The Rock Fit is uh, a fantastic option for uh, shops who are looking to automate within um, a, a small space. You know, perhaps uh, this is a, I work with a lot of clients who, you know, maybe in an ideal scenario as they're looking to get their perfect press or, or scale their business into something that can accommodate six, eight, or 10 colors. Um, you know, they might choose to hold off on, um, you know, making a purchase that will actually help them uh, to be able to grow up to that point in the, in the near term. So rather than saying, hey, you know, we can't fit the eight color press uh, in our building that we really want one day, so we're just going to hold off and not do anything. You could literally be losing thousands of dollars in potential profit by doing that. So if the majority of your current print job, which I think, you know, is standard kind of in the US and Canada, something like 90% of custom print orders are four colors or less. Um, so if you're able to do, let's say, 90% of your business and do that in a way uh, that increases efficiencies and allows you to have, you know, one operator produce 300 to 400 shirts per hour, um, you know, something that's just not possible on a manual. Um, you can think about uh, the difference in profit potential of what you can be making over the next year or two or however long it takes you to put the pieces into place to get into that larger space and, and really get the, the ideal machine of your dreams. Um, of course, if you're making a large investment, you know, nobody wants to say, oh, I'm making this so that I can fulfill 90% of the things that cross my desk. You'd love to fulfill 100, uh, but at the same time, you shouldn't kind of lose the forest for the trees and, um, you know, put off on your plans for the next couple of years just because you can't fit that machine in your space. So the Rock Fit allows you to, you know, take an automatic press and all the efficiencies that are built into uh, rock equipment specifically and put that in your shop so that you can realize a higher growth potential much quicker than you would be able to otherwise.